Greetings to all, my name is Gudai and welcome to day 4 of Eldritch Moon Spoilers. This time, I still have to be quiet because there's people sleeping again. Oopsie daisy. Now the first spoiler of the day is Stormkirk Condemned, which is 2 black for a 2-2 vampire horror creature. You can discard a card to give all your vampires you control plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn but you can only activate it once each turn. This is truly an insane card for the limited and for vampire decks. It's a free discard mechanic with a huge upside and it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 so yeah in limited this is great free madness enabler plus your vampires buffs itself in standard this will probably see play there might even be a vampire deck and this card is gonna play a huge role in it harmless offering is too generic and one red for a sorcery target opponent gains control of target permanent you control and just take a look at the artwork it's a kitten with a snake for a tail. That makes it a good card. Uh, no, it's it's basically a red donate. It's exactly a red donate, and donate is on the reserve list, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. In standard, you won't see many uses. I mean, demonic pact, obviously, but with all the green white, the Remokus command is probably gonna destroy your demonic pact. And yeah, so in standard I don't think this will see any place, it's a bad card for limited. Commander play, this will be cool. Or maybe there will be some spoilers with cards that you want to give to your opponents, for example like a 1-1 one, one cat, and when you control this but don't own it, it transforms into a 0-5 that deals 3 damage to you at the start of each turn, something like that. It would be pretty cool. Decimator of Provinces is 10 mana for a 7-7 Eldrazi Boar with Emerge for 6 generic triple green. When you cast it, creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2 and gain trample in the end of turn and it has haste and trample. In limited great it's a it's a bomb in limited really outside of limited probably only will see commander play maybe it's cheap enough to see play in some strategies but triple green and six generic i don't know i don't think so Wharf Infiltrator is one generic, one blue for a 1-1 one, one human horror with a skulk and whenever it deals combat damage to a player you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Whenever you discard a creature card, you may pay 2 generic. If you do, put a 3-2 colorless Eldrazi horror creature token onto the battlefield. This card is amazing, really. Limited, it's gonna be a bomb, bonkers. Standard, might see play. Even outside of standard, but I don't know about that. But it's great, it's a 1-1, one, one, basically unblockable, unless your opponent has 1 power creatures, and it gets to loot, and you get some good stuff for discarding creature cards. So it enables madness, and you can pay stuff to get some free creatures and you get cards, it's it's a great card, really. Gaia Reach Sanitarium is a legendary land. It taps to add colorless to your mana pool and for two generic and tapping it, each player draws a card then discards a card. In limited, sure. In constructed, no, not really. I don't think this will see play. It's just not really worth making your opponents draw cards. Eldritch Evolution is one generic, two green. For a sorcery, as an additional cost to cast its second creature, 
Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, where X is the is 2 plus the sacrificed creature's converted mana cost. Put that card on the battlefield, then shuffle your library, exile Elder's Evolution. Yeah, sure. Unlimited. Sure. It gives you a better creature. If you if you play some big creatures and some expensive emerge creatures, do keep in mind that it has to be exactly 2 plus the converted mana cost of the creature, so keep that in mind when using this card. It should have actually been up to. That's a shame. But great card nonetheless. If some control deck with green spawns might see standard play, Modern will probably find a way to break this. Or maybe even Eternal might find a way to break this, but I don't know about Eternal so I'm not gonna say anything about that. Eternal Scourge is 3 generic for a 3-3 Eldrazi Horror. You may cast it from exile. When it, can, when it becomes a target of a spell or ability in the opponent controls, exile it. And I believe this is really similar to Mist Hollow Griffin in a modern deck, uh, in a legacy deck called Food Chain. So, yeah, it's pretty good. In limited, yeah, play this card. Obviously, if it goes into the graveyard, you won't be able to cast it again, but even then, it's a 3 3 for 3 generic. So, pretty good. Um, in standard, probably won't see play in modern. Maybe we'll spawn some weird strategies either. Note, ongoing investigation makes this card really fun. Because you can just exile it from your graveyard, get a clue, gain life, and play it again for 3 mana. Lupine Prototype is too generic for a 5-5 artifact creature wolf construct. It can attack our block unless a player has no cards in hand. Bad for limit. Unless maybe two of the giant and one of one of both players has some sort of madness deck that will run out of cards pretty quickly. Then sure. But other than that, no. Standard, probably won't see play. Maybe somehow in vampire decks even though it's a wolf? Probably not. In modern, a track. In well, in modern or legacy, some rack strategies um, might see play there in sideboards against like white decks that run leyline of sanity, sanity or something. Maybe, but then again, it's not a great card. Murder is one generic two black for an instant destroy target creature. It's a great reprint, it's not Hero's Downfall because it can't destroy Planeswalkers, but it's great removal nonetheless. This is insanely good Unlimited, and this will probably see standard play. Whispers of Emrakul is one generic one black for a sorcery. Target opponent discards a card at random, and if you have Delirium, that player discards two cards at random instead. This is no him to Turak, but... It's an insanely good card if you get Delirium, because it's only one generic and one black, rather than two black. If you've played with him Tutorial before, you know, it's super annoying. Or against him Tutorial. Now, this will, this is a great card in Limited. It might even see play in Standard, if Delirium proves to be reachable by turn 2 or 3, but if not, probably won't see standard play. Maybe, well I guess it's still good enough on turn 4, probably not on 5. Grapple with the past is one generic one green for an instant, put the top 3 cards of your library in your graveyard, then you may return a creature or land card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, sure, it's a Delirium Enabler, and it returns a useful card back to your hand. 
Or it returns no card back to your hand if you don't want to. So sure, you would play this unlimited. And perhaps even in some black green delirium standard deck. That does it for day 4 of the Eldritch Moon spoilers. I think there were some really interesting cards in there. I really like Harmless Offering and the simplicity of Murder. So yeah, great cards again. I'm really looking forward to this set. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!